Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen Moore from Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. And this is Freedom the Parrot. And he is out loose out of the cage, but keep in mind it is summertime. He was calm a minute ago, and I had a little bit of jazz music going, and he was very sweet. And then we like to split an oat bar. It's a dried oat bar, and I put it in a paper towel inside a piece of cardboard and it's called a foraging toy even though it's not a toy it gives him an opportunity to search for food because if they were out in the wild um that's what they would do now he is a little bit out of control right now because the minute i said the word oat bar which usually is very nice inside the cage and he'll let me put the uh, cardboard in because it's summertime and it's super light outside, <laughs> you'll see all his toys on top of the cage. He's got a million of them. Um, he's been saying the word no, uh, kind of like, well, you know, they have the capacity of a five-year-old child as far as remembering words and people and food and colors. Um, he, he can recognize a lot of different things. He also knows the difference between drinking water if i take a sip of water he'll make a little gulp gulp sound versus if i'm eating food he'll move his beak up and down really fast to indicate food uh, but the problem comes into he last year flew off the cage for five seconds didn't try to injure me but flew at my face and and this is why a lot of parrots end up in a uh rescue facility now he was um adopted from feather french forever They've got about 1,500 birds right now, and I adopted him, gosh, I guess it'll be three and a half years have passed. So you have to be super vigilant. I hope I'm saying that word right. <laughs> you got to be very careful in the summertime because just now he got so pumped up, his eyes uh, were lighting up. It's called pinning when their, their pupils go in and out over and over again, and he had his tail feathers out. And he had his wings out, and that indicates I'm going to attack you. Right, Freedom? So, um, also, if you notice, he's got the hanging blinds in the background. I'll pan away for just a minute. So, we've got these beautiful, um, you know, palm trees out here. We've got the saw palmetto. It's very tropical, and that's why I have him in front of this window. But he loves with his beak to press on the blinds and let them flow back and forth so we pull the cage away from the blinds but he knows the word no and can repeat it and he'll look over his shoulder and, and real snappy say no okay so this is a super long video to explain that in the summertime you really have to keep an eye on your parrot and freedom do you want to say goodbye so he may have to get back in the cage which we're not even sure how we're going to do it <laughs> All right, there. The, see, there go the feathers. All right, Freedom. Freedom, do you want to say goodbye? He won't talk on command, but he does know a lot of words. All right, everybody, we're signing off live from Hilton Head Island with Freedom the Parrot. Have a great day.